Hey guys, this is Austin with Walton's TV, and welcome to our vacuum pouch product overview, available at waltonsinc.com. Vacuum packaging is one of the most efficient methods that you can use to help extend the shelf life of foods. Food is better preserved when air is removed from the inside of the package, which then creates an unfavorable environment for bacteria because bacteria require oxygen to grow. Removing oxygen also decreases the oxidation of lipids or fats, which causes rancidity. Vacuum packaging bags also provide a physical barrier for food products so that they do not cross contaminate since microorganisms are basically everywhere. When you use vacuum packaging, you can get up to five times longer shelf life for your food products when compared to another type or to another packaging method. Now let's talk about the different types of vacuum pouches that are available. We have two main classes. There's a full mesh and there's standard. Full mesh pouches are used in a non-chamber machine like this one on my left, while standard pouches are used in chambered machines like this one on my right. In the full mesh or non-chambered category, we have regular bags, zippered bags, and also vacuum bag rolls. These full mesh bags must be used in non-chambered vacuum machines because the textured channels on the inside of the bag allow the air inside the package to still escape while the, while the bag is being pushed together when the vacuum is created. On the other hand, in a standard vacuum pouch category, we have a much wider selection of bags available. And when we talk about standard pouches, we'll oftentimes refer to a mill size as well, and this is simply the thickness of the bag in thousandths of an inch. So with that being said, we have varieties like 3 mil, 4 mil, or 5 mil high barrier, along with boilable bags, gold foil, zippered bags, and also bags with pre-printed safe handling instructions. Unlike the full mesh pouches, a standard vacuum pouch has a smooth interior and does not need the textured interior since the entire bag is placed inside the entire vacuum machine instead of just laying the very end in the machine. For those of you trying to decide which type of machine and thus which type of bags to use, we can run through a quick cost comparison between the two. While a non-chambered machine costs much less than its chambered counterparts, a decent machine can cost from $200 up to around $450 like this machine here. But the cost per bag is pretty high and equates to about $0.25 cents or more per bag. Chambered machines, on the other hand, can range from as low as $780 like this machine all the way up to multiple thousands of dollars for a commercial grade machine. But the bags typically only cost about six cents per bag or less. So over the course of a year, if we average three to, four, three to four bags per day on each of these machines sitting here, the total cost for the machines and the bags will become very similar. Since the lower price per bag on the standard bags can lower the total cost of ownership for a chambered machine, as long as you use it somewhat frequently. I hope this help you guys, helps you guys out and answer some of the questions you may have about vacuum packaging. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and like button below if you liked the video. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments section below. And as always, visit our website at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. And with that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching our vacuum pouch product overview. I'm Austin with Walton's TV, and we'll see you guys next time.